Hello everyone, I am going to create a multi-authentication system using Laravel 12. The Laravel 12 is now the latest Laravel version and I am going to use it to create an application with multi-authentication. So in the multi-authentication means for example you have multiple users in your application. For example there is a user that is admin and there is another user that is customer. So these kinds of users that means there can be multi type of users and it is possible that you use one single table to apply the roles and then you can just uh, create a field and in this way you can uh, you uh, just use the same table to manage the multiple types of users for example admin user customer etc but there is also another system where I can create separate tables for separate type of users. For example, for the admin, I use a separate admins table. If I want to create the customer, then I am going to use a customer's table. Or user, I am going to create the user's table. In this way, it is also possible to manage the system. So I am going to show you um, where I will just use the separate table system and I will use multi-guard and I in this application I will not use any kind of a started kit for example the breeze or jet stream I will not use anything like that I will do the complete process from the scratch so you will understand each and every logic very clearly so let's start so in order to open that this is the ST docs and this is my project main folder and then I am going to create here Laravel 12 for example I am going to create here and I am going to give here a name that is Laravel 12 okay so into Laravel 12 I am going to create my application so here I am going to open my terminal in this location that is the Laravel 12 just open the terminal here and now I am going to create the Laravel application from uh, scratch that means a fresh Laravel 12 application I am going to install here so I can use the composer command so composer then create project and then laravel slash laravel and i am going to give here the name that is multi auth so just press enter then the laravel is going to be installed into my computer so just wait for some time it will be installed yes you see already it is installed now i will just enter into here that means multi auth here i will just uh, enter that means here i can use the cd command and use multi multi what you see now I am into the multi what okay so I am going to use the clear command okay so I am into this location that means where the Laravel is installed I am into the same location uh, so here I can just run my project and in order to run my project I will have to create the command PSP artisan serve you will see a server is now running i am just going to copy this into my url and in my browser i am going to just hit this one and you see the laravel is installed and this is the laravel 12 application home page so from here you can go to the documentation file to see how laravel works and a lot of things that means uh, here you see in the right side there is all the laravel versions and the latest version is now laravel 12 and from here you can learn a lot of things but i am not going there i am just going to make my tasks very simple so my first task is to create or uh, to open the project into uh, here that means into my vs code i am going to drag and drop the project here and here you will see there is a env file and into the env file you see my project name is laravel and all other things are here and here what things i should use that is db connection here it should be mysql by default laravel uh, comes with the sqlite but i will use the mysql and all these hash that means from the beginning all the hash i will remove and then it will work my database name is here laravel but here i am going to change it to multi what and username is root and password is in my case on to eight so i give the password here so every setup is now oh, should work now and i am now going back 
and here what thing i will do you see there is a error but i do not actually need to run that it is okay uh, because uh, i did not create any migrate command yet so it will just show error just uh, close this one and now i am going to uh, back to my work so first i will set up the guard that means into the config folder i will go to the auth.php and here you see only one guard is present here that is the web guard and this web guard means the user stable that i that will be created so for the user stable there is a guard that is the web guard i will just copy this one and i will create an extra guard here that is for the admin so i am going to create here the admin i just put the name admin here and here i will use the plural forms of this that is the admins and in the bottom you see the providers here i will just copy this one and paste it here and in my case here the provider name will be admins because you know i give the providers name here here provider admins and this provider i am going to define here so it is the admins and model will be app models here it will be admin uh, that is okay and so users is the provider here and admins is the provider here so all the tasks for this is okay i am not going to touch anything here so it should work so my guard setup is completed my now the task that will be needed that is uh, the migration so i will ha i already have the migration files for the user if i go to the database and you will see in the migrations this folder there is if i enlarge it you see there is a users cache jobs total three tables i will not need to touch this but uh, the users table i am going to open so this one will be needed in my case but i another uh, one i will need because i have another one that is the admins right so uh, what is given in the users you see all the things are given here that is run the migrations they are telling me and the user table fields are here but in your case did this can be uh, a bit different that means uh, if you want you can uh, set up the name it is okay email even is also okay but in my case i will not use it because i will not use their system i will use my system so here i am going to copy the email and in this case i am going to just use the photo here and here i am going to give photo and instead of unique i am going to give here that is the nullable field because the photo can be optional so i use the nullable here and the password that is given as a string that is okay and like the password i am going to remove the remember token it is not needed and after password what i will write that is the phone number for example there is a phone uh, not this it is okay so like phone i can use here the country the country then um, there can be other things that is for example a state then there can be city in my case uh, then there can be zip code in my case so phone country and there can be another one that is the address so here you can use the address and address can be after the phone number so it can be like this so this is very simple and straightforward and uh, i am going to add another one that is token i will use that token according to uh, my system i will use it and then after the token i can create here the status if you want you can create the admin status if you have uh, multiple admins then you can just use here the status and here i can use the default so in the default uh, using inactive i can use here the zero the default is zero and here for example i am going to use uh, comment is okay and zero is inactive one is active okay zero is you can also use the pending and inactive and two is for example blocked or here suspended in this way you can just define the status field here and for the admin i do not have any uh, such type of migration files so i will write i need to create here that is php uh, php artisan then make migration command so this is the default command of the laravel i will use it and i will use the create and create admins table okay so you will see another migration comes here that is for the admins 
so in the case of admin what things i will change in the admin you see only id and timestamps are here but if you go to the users you see some other things are here so name email i will need so i bring here that is the name and email and also there is a photo it is photo and password this is also needed for me so here i write photo and password and last one is token that will be needed for the uh, admin also okay so here uh, for the user you see i uh, use the status when a user will request then the status will be pending after the email verification the status will be one or active but in the case of admin there will be actually nothing uh, uh, like that i will use the single admin in in this uh, authentication okay now after doing all the things i am going to write php artisan migrate so if i run this command the table will be created so just put it you see there is no table by this name in my database if i just go to run my database so localhost uh, like this uh, php my admin in my database you see there is no such table by the multi auth so what i will do here now uh, it is asking me if it will create the table by the name multi auth because because i defined in the dot env file the name multi auth so it is asking me if it will create the table by that uh, name okay i am going to select yes if, if you want you can select no or if you want you can select yes so by default yes is okay i am going to enter tables are created okay so i am going to check it if i now refresh you see na uh, hard refresh you see multi auth this one comes this was not here so now multi auth comes here and in the multi auth you will see that there is admin table it is created and you see only four fields uh, one two three four five total five fields uh, that is given by me and id was by default and created and updated at these two items are coming for the timestamps so the similar thing uh, is created in the case of user you see in the users there is all the fields created updated at, and status field is here it is created and all the fields that i gave here that are coming and all other tables are created by default according to the laravel system i actually do not need to explain that for now so i am not going there so i hope you understand how the migration is created okay so now if you go to check it uh, you see there will be no error right now so error has gone and it is okay and working fine 